Hello again. Now today I'm just going to do a little unboxing. This is some posts that turned up the other day. Now I don't usually do videos opening posts um, because it's usually very boring and I don't order all that much stuff really. But this is something that I've been looking out for and I found um, on eBay. I'm just going to quickly hack it open. I've been holding on to this parcel for a few days now because I wanted to open it up on camera. Now, assortment of stuff in here, but uh, there's a there's a good clue. And it is indeed what I hoped it was. Yeah, it's mainly packing in there. So there's that item there, and that's actually a speed gauge um, panel from HMV Gramophone. In fact, um, I've got one of those already, so you might be wondering why I've got another one. And there's various other bits here, that's actually the dial. Uh, itself and a little uh, perspex or plastic cover to go over it. There's the needle arm, a bit bent, but it's probably serviceable. But actually, as you probably guessed, that's not at all what I was really after. What I was really after was this. Now that is the um, panel that goes over um, the, the dial indicator. And on my HMV gramophone, the one that I acquired a few weeks ago, there's a replacement one made out of plastic. Um, which is obviously a much later edition, probably within the last, uh, you know, five years or so. Um, so I've been looking out for uh, a proper metal one, and this is actually a proper um, one from a period HMV gramophone. I did have a look. Um, they are available um, in America as well, because the Victor machines, the Victor Victrolas, used pretty much the same mechanisms. Um, but I wanted to get a, a British one just in case the writing on it was actually different. I, I don't know whether they are or not. I don't know if you can see that clearly there. But um, that is the correct one, I'm pretty sure, for the machine I've got. If I understand correctly, this is actually off one of the tabletop models, uh, whereas mine is the um, floor-mounted one. But I don't think that actually makes any difference. So just... Quickly look in this packet too, and I skipped over. This is actually the, uh, the speed mechanism itself. Now, in one of my previous videos, I talked a little bit about this because I've got one of these fitted on the motor already. Um, it's got this little, what I would call follower. It looks like a brake, but I think it's just a follower. And basically, I put the... Uh, needle on. don't know if that's going to work or not. I think it actually needs to be screwed on properly but let's try a little bit of tape. That shows it so. When I push this, you can see that the tape moves. So that arm there, or that um, post there, actually rotates. And basically, what happens in the machine is that um, this is on the governor. So you've got the proper brake, which looks like this, but a bit bigger. And then you've got this little follower. And when the machine's running at the right speed, you can tell because the needle 
which is driven from this post here, shows up on the dial to these bits here in the right position. And I was having a little bit of trouble with this um, in my last video that I was showing this on. Um, although I seem to have it all set up and adjusted properly, I wasn't able to show in the video properly uh, the motion. So um, this is uh, another view. I might have another go at shooting that video or shooting the action of this actually running in the governor um, properly rather than just uh, being held by me in front of the camera like this. But anyway, uh, those bits, much as they're nice to have, don't really need, don't um, really want, although they're fun to have. This thing here, this is this is the prize. This is what um, I actually ordered it for. So I'll be fitting that um, to my gramophone fairly shortly. And other than that, there are just a few uh, assorted screws there, which... Um, may or may not be sufficient to actually uh, attach all that together, but um, I suspect if need be, I could find some more from somewhere else. Okay, so that's it, just a little unboxing. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Mr. RG Stuff.